Hi everyone, it's Ben here, back with another Verse of the Day devotional. Uh, before we get into it, I wanted to give you a, a few reminders. The first is that we will have no Wednesday night youth group next week. Uh, we're taking a week off. We also will have no Verses of the Day videos for next week. Uh, as I, I'm giving, I'm giving the young, uh, the youth group leaders uh, a week break there, just to let them rest up and uh, and have a week off. Uh, in that time, though, we will have a deeper dive video going up, and we will have the uh, all of the young adult stuff still happening. So we'll have our book club, and we will have our lunch. Uh, and then the following week after that, we are going to have a movie night on Wednesday night. Once again, don't know what that movie is just yet. And once again, I know it'll be that, that day at that time. So it'll be Wednesday. It'll be at 6.30. And that's when uh, that's when it'll be. Uh, so I will let you know as soon as I have more information about that. Okay. I've been thinking a lot about rules lately. Uh, and I had this question that I was thinking about is how many rules do you think that you follow throughout the day? And in my head, I started going through so many of them. There's social rules. There's uh, rules uh, of uh, you know the world, how we how we act, crossing the streets at crosswalks, driving our cars at a proper speed limit, wearing our seatbelts, um, behaving correctly with one another. There's your parents' rules. Uh, there's there's rules of relationships that Jamie and I follow. There's rules everywhere. There's so many of them, and they they help dictate your actions throughout the day. Now, are you the type of person who finds it fun to follow the rules or do sometimes do you think it's fun to break them? See, for me, like when I was a kid, you know, I always liked to color in the lines, but then there were some drawings and I would just put, yeah, I want to be outside the line right there. I wanted to color everywhere on the page. Most of the time I liked coloring in between the lines, but sometimes I'd be all over the place. Well, let's read what this uh, what this passage from Psalms has some things to say about it. This is Psalms 119, uh, and it's 14 through 16. I rejoice in following your statutes as one rejoices in great riches. I meditate on your precepts and consider your ways. I delight in your decrees. I will not neglect your word. So in, in that's the NIV translation. So in simpler terms, it's, I find happiness in all of your rules as one who's extremely wealthy. I, 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 I sit there, I, I meditate on all these ideas and consider your ways. And I am so happy in all of the things that you've told me. I will not Forget what you've said. So in this first verse, the psalmist talks about finding joy in following rules and statutes. Why? See, the, the truth is we know that our true joy is found in Jesus. And by obeying Jesus, we actually grow closer to Jesus. Then the next one says, and, and that also rejoicing in it as one who has great riches. Like Jesus is this great rich uh, thing that is out there. He's this great rich Lord that, that we get to be a part of. The psalmist also talks about spending time in thoughtful consideration with God and rejoicing in that. Why? Because we know that our true joy is found in, in spending time with Jesus so that we grow closer to him. And finally, the psalmist talks about making a conscious decision to remain focused on God. Why? Because we know that keeping our vision found and focused on Jesus it brings us closer to him. So how does this apply to today? And how does this apply to all these rules and, and life as you know it? 
Well, I was thinking about how easy it is for us to get distracted throughout the day. Ah, there's Netflix going on, Hulu. Uh, I mean, your friend could call and then all of a sudden you're on a different tangent. Uh, you want to finish a video game. You got homework to do or you could be distracted by boredom. Just distracted by being bored. But if we follow what the psalmist says and take joy in getting to know Jesus by following him, by spending time with him, and by focusing on him, we see that the Lord is in everything. So those rules that are in place that we don't, that we, we see all the time, we take joy in them because the Lord is in them. And we find that the Lord is in everything. When we find that Jesus is in everything, well, we find joy in the moment. So when you're playing your video games, you're finding Jesus in your video games. When you're, when you're hanging out with a friend, you're finding Jesus in that moment. When you're doing your homework, you're finding Jesus in that homework. If your vision and your focus remain on Jesus, you will find Jesus. All right, let me pray for you. Dear Lord, we thank you that you are everywhere and in everything, Lord. And if we open our eyes to you, if we follow you, if we seek you, if we obey you, and, and we just crave that time with you, Lord, that you appear in so many wonderful ways to us. We thank you for that. And we, we want that, Lord. We want to seek after it like a great richness, um, Lord, because you are the only thing that fills up our soul. Lord, I ask that you bless uh, all of the, all of these young adults, all of these uh, all these high schoolers and middle schoolers out there, Lord, that are seeking after you. Lord, help help them to find you in in mere moments throughout the day. Lord, we thank you for all that all that you do because you are great. In your name, we pray. Amen. All right, I'll see you next time.